Well, from a runny nose to acne, our bodies can have interesting reactions. Newswatch 16's Ryan Lucky is live on another road trip to talk about grossology. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Mindy. That's what we're tackling this morning. Grossology, a new exhibit that is opened here at the Da Vinci Science Center in Allentown. And Grossology is actually based off of a children's series aimed at teaching us all sorts of factoids like why we get a runny nose or pimples or breakouts or blemishes or even why we end up burping and belching. Uh, we're all guilty of it. Dave Smith is with us here, the chief scientist of the Da Vinci Science Center. What is this demo all about and what do we take away from it? This is our burp machine, Ryan, and this is, uh, teaches us that when we get too much gas in our stomach, there's a muscle at the top called the sphincter that relaxes and lets that gas out, and here we go. And I love this, so you can uh, do a lot of interactive demos here at the Da Vinci Science Center. Excuse me, I wonder where that came from. I love it. And there's all different types of tidbits, including pop pressure, how carbonated sodas and juices can contain a lot of gases that could cause us to end up burping and belching. We want to show you this location over here because, hey, we've all been through it in life. The hurling, the upchuck, the heaving. Put down your breakfast during this section, but tell us about this exhibit over here. That's right. This teaches about the sequence that our body goes through when we need to vomit. And sometimes you need to vomit. And you said here kids can come and they learn sort of the order of how things happen in your body? That's right. The signals have to be processed in a certain order for it to happen. So basically you told me it starts with your brain. That's right. Then your... Then you have to go to your stomach. The brain sends the signal and then to the esophagus and then to your mouth. And then it's... All right, here are the details on the big exhibition that's now open at the Da Vinci Science Center in Allentown. It's 11.95 or less for tickets depending on your age. You can learn more about it at WNEP.com forward slash website. And something interesting, I have to say, Dave, in a decade's worth of TV, I've never talked about breaking wind or passing gas on any morning show, and we're doing that right now. Tell us about this demo and what kids and families can learn. Well, Ryan, we're happy to give you the chance to do something new here so at the Da Vinci Science Center. That's what it's all about. This is about passing gas and the noises that we make. So if we push a button here and get some wind going. Sound is always made by vibrations, and these are vibrations of little membranes that uh, Mimic what happens sometimes when the gas has to come out of our bodies. Come on, you know, you're all at home eating your breakfast right now laughing because I don't know what it is, what age, but noises like this are still funny. Absolutely. This is, a, this is an exhibit that's great for the inner middle schooler in all of us. All right, take a look at this little factoid. Who knew in France during the late 1600s it was considered a great honor to speak with King Louis XIV while he relieved himself on his not-so-kingly throne. We have more ahead from the Da Vinci Science Center. And by the way, Mindy, I love how I got kind of quiet when I was talking about this station over here, like I was embarrassed, like no one's going to hear it. Like we're not talking to thousands of people now who are like, oh, he's talking about passing gas. Everybody heard it, Ryan. Thank you so much. Oof. Lots to look forward to. You're it's Friday, and Ryan is on the road again in Allentown this morning. Tell us more about what we can go see, Rainy, on a uh, Ryan on a rainy day. Hello, good morning. Ryan Rainey, hey, it works. I'm hanging out at the Da Vinci Science Center as we are talking about a new exhibit that's all about teaching us about our human bodies, how they work, why we get pimples, goiters, skin blemishes, how we get rid of waste. Here's what it's all like when you step into the doors inside this cool science center in Allentown. Basically, you walk through this giant mouth before you head in and check out some interactive exhibits. And the main focus behind this is actually to teach little ones and families sort of how our bodies process things every day day from food to different types obviously of waste but also the main hook is actually based on a children's book series by Sylvia Bronzi known as Grossology also the name of the exhibit and with us the executive director here at the Science Center Lynn Erickson first of all tell us about this skin wall behind us this is just one of the many sections people can check out Yes, well this is really fun. It's a climbing wall and you can learn about all the stuff on your skin. That sometimes we're not that comfortable about pimples, moles, warts, you know, bruises, scabs and what are scabs and why does that blood, you know, protect our skin like a band-aid? It's a lot of fun. And of course the kids are having a great time climbing across the wall as you can see from behind us. And even how our body gets rid of waste with interactive games like this one called you're in the game. Yes, and this is about you become a kidney and you've got to get the bad stuff out of your body and keep the good stuff. And if you're good at video games like all these kids today are, it's a lot of fun. It's challenging for me, but a lot of fun. And of course, an interesting type of game show, so to speak, that we have the two adults trying out as well. That really helps families and kids try to answer questions. Absolutely. That's the culminating
can kind of experience, see what you learned while you were here, try to beat your parents, you know, and you've got her grossness, who is uh, Sylvia Bronzai herself, leading the way. Here are the details on Grossology. It's now open through September at the Da Vinci Science Center. Tickets are $11.95 or less, depending on your age. This place is open seven days a week. You can learn more about the show and what it's all about at WNEP.com forward slash website. Still to come here on Newswatch 16 this morning, we're going to be talking with Nigel Knows, the guy who's going to teach us about mucus and all sorts of stuff. Nigel Knows It All is his name. Plus, burping, belching, why we do that. Oh, yeah, it's like no topic, off limits here. No topic, warts, snot, poop, whatever. <laughs> she just went right for it. Mindy, I finally learned how I get those goiters overnight, so it's good to know. Oh, good to know. Yeah, she uh, went right for it, definitely. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Joe's up next with your forecast. Here's a well, if your kids are like my kids, they love belching, burping, or any other bodily function. Newswatch 16's Ryan Lucky live to tell us about grossology this morning. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, what do you mean just your kids love that, Melinda? All I hear you in the newsroom it. all the time. You're like, hey. Oh, excuse me. All right, well, come on inside. We're hanging out at the Da Vinci Science Center where you can take a look around for yourself at this exhibit known as Grossology, based on the children's book series by Sylvia Bronzi. And this is the Snut Snot Station where you can learn about why does sometimes our nose turns into Niagara Falls. And there's all sorts of other elements that you can take away from this. The main focus is to give kids and families an interactive look at why our bodies do certain things. Why do we sneeze? Why do we get pimples, skin blemishes, and even certain smells. With us is Dr. Rosenfeld. They are a sponsor with St. Luke's University Health Network. So this station here is all about the sniff sniff. So what does this teach us? This teaches us that, you know, the body has different processes. And in order to live, the body has to go to digest nutrients. And sometimes uh, the nutrients produce odors. And uh, while they, we may find them disgusting, we got to realize that they're important in order for life to go on. Good call. We have Liz over here. She's a mom who visits us with her daughter often. Do you notice her face? She's like, because you literally get to come here. You grab this air pump and you take a good whiff and you try to guess, oh, yes, which one of these smells are you sniffing? Is it the mouth, the armpit, the black side, or the foot? Um, I think that's the armpit. Oh, I don't know. Let's go ahead. Try it, Ryan. Go ahead. I already had a good whiff. And I love it here because everyone, you're offered like a courtesy sniff. They're like, come try this. It's horrible. Here are the details on the big exhibit that's now open at the Da Vinci Science Center in Allentown. Tickets are $11.95 for adults or less, depending on your age. And you can learn more about this place and the other exhibits they have here, including a mini medical school going on, all at WNAP.com forward slash websites. You can even learn about burping and belching. They have a demo on that. And also something that all of us are guilty of. This is the toot toot station. So we learn about why we break wind, Doc. Absolutely. Flatulence is another body process that's important. So, you know, as the food gets propelled through the intestines and the pressure builds up, it's got to go somewhere. And that results in the, the toot, the fart that everybody loves to hear. And this is one of my favorite exhibits. So it's very interactive and it makes all sorts of weird noises. If you're home eating breakfast right now, this is totally happening on TV. And I think the interesting factoids here, most cultures consider tooting to be a private thing, something best when done alone. But you know what? Here you can kind of just have at it. Mindy, I don't care how old you are. This is still kind of funny. That entire exhibit looks like a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Ryan, for bringing it to us this morning. Enjoy your breakfast. You're